Welcome to a very special episode of Coffee and Rakia. I'm David, I'm an Englishman in the Balkans, and I'm sat in the garden today. It's the uh, 30th of September, which is a very special day for podcasters because today is World Podcast Day. Blue skies here, is chilly, and uh, Predrag is working in the garden at the moment, cutting back the grass. We're getting ready for autumn now. We've still got some grapes to pick, so we might make some grappa, but that's something else. But today is a day when podcasters across the globe share their stories, their voices and their experiences. And I'm here as a 71-year-old Brit living in a rural village in northern Bosnia and Herzegovina, adding my little corner of the world to this global celebration. Podcasting has changed a lot over the years and in some ways it's shaped how I share my journey of living abroad, discovering new cultures and navigating life after 70. It's an incredible medium, giving voices to people like me who maybe wouldn't have a platform otherwise. Now, I started podcasting because I wanted to offer something more than just a tourist guide to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Sure, it's a beautiful country with breathtaking landscapes, rich history and incredible food, but that's only part of the story. Through Coffee and Rakia, I get to dig deeper. I get to share the everyday life of living in the Balkans as a foreigner, with all its quirks, surprises and, most importantly, connections that come with it. And today, I wanted to talk about three things. One, the power of storytelling in podcasting, why embracing the unfamiliar can be life-changing, and how podcasting can help us find meaning in even the smallest moments of our lives. My podcast is a lot like my life. It's a collection of moments, some big, like moving to Bosnia over 22 years ago, and others smaller, like the morning routine of walking around uh, the village, waking up with the sound of the church bells, and also watching my neighbours going about their day. This is a very rural area. These moments come together to form stories, and I think that's what podcasting for me is all about. It's about storytelling. Whether you're telling stories from a busy city or a remote village like this, or whether you've got millions of listeners or just a few, podcasting gives us the space to connect through stories. One of my favourite things to do on the podcast, on my podcast, is to introduce listeners to the rich cultural heritage of Bosnia and Herzegovina, from street art in Banja Luka to the taste of Chivap in Sarajevo or the tranquility of driving across the Kraina region. But beyond that, I like to explore what it means to live here as someone who wasn't born here. The language barriers, the cultural differences, the moments of confusion that give way to understanding. Trust me, it's all part of the adventure. It hasn't always been easy. Living in a different culture for all these years, and now especially at my age, can sometimes feel like I'm walking on unfamiliar ground. But that's also what makes it exciting. And through podcasting, I found a way to share this adventure with others who may feel like they are walking in unfamiliar places too, whether it's in their personal lives, their careers or physical spaces. Now, if you've been following Coffee and Rakia recently, you'll know that I've started shifting more towards narrative style episodes, exploring life here in a bit more depth. The thing is, after podcasting for all these years, I've realised I need to change things a bit. I need to bring more stories more personality, more of the essence of Bosnia and Herzegovina into each episode. This change, what's the word these days? Yeah, this pivot has brought me even closer to my listeners and I'm incredibly grateful for that. It's not just about telling my story, but also the stories of those around me, from locals here in Chidarchini, the village I live, to fellow travellers and expats I meet along the way. Now, before I wrap up, I want to leave you with one final thought. Podcasting has given me a new lens through which I view the world. And at 71, I've seen a lot, trust me. But the beauty of podcasting is that it allows me to keep learning, keep growing and keep sharing. And that's something I think we should all embrace, no matter where we are in our lives. So as we celebrate World Podcast Day today, I want to encourage anyone that's listening who's thinking about starting a podcast or maybe even considering sharing their story in some way, take the leap. You never know who might be listening, who you might comfort, who you might make laugh, 
or who you might inspire by your words. Predrag's still working. It's really chilly now, so I'm going to go back in the warm. Thank you for joining me on my journey so far. And whether you're tuning in from Bosnia, the UK or somewhere else around the world, I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you so much. Until the next episode of Coffee and Rakia, here's to many more stories and I hope that you can share a cup of coffee or maybe tea if you're in the UK. And if you don't have Rakia, if you do drink alcohol, you can have a, a wee swig of whiskey or whatever your drink of choice may be.